and this tutorial will talk about clean edges. It's a very useful tool that will save you a lot of time and resources. So let's start and see what I'm talking about here. We will use this beautiful image of a classic car. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some camera matching. I'll change camera's focal length to 24 millimeters. Need to find the place from which the image was taken. Grid lines will help you do that. That's great. I'll select camera and image and create a projection. I'm going to name it two scenes. Okay. Double click second scene and let's just quickly create an environment. I'll use the angle primitive to do that. Let's find and adjust it. Open anchor point editor and move anchor point to the bottom, like so. And now I'll move the primitive back until I reach the horizon line. All right, that's good. I'll just scale it. Disable helper image to see if it covers the whole image. Let's scale it some more. All right, great. Now it covers the entire image and we're done with the environment. And now we can switch to custom view and you can see that the bottom of the primitive covers the road and the backside covers the trees in the distance and the sky. Now, of course, you don't have to bother so much and you can simply create an environment in just two clicks using helper grid. Just mark here, bottom and the back, back for the sky and bottom for the road and the field and click OK. Now let's switch to custom view and take a look. So you can see that we get the same thing we got before using angle primitive. The bottom part is where the grid bottom and the back part is at the back side of the grid. It's just much faster to make an environment this way if you have your camera matched correctly. But I'm here to show you more ways of how you can go about doing that. Angle primitive does the same. It's just that you need to put it in the right location. Okay, let's move on. Delete those. Back to master scene. We can move the camera and see how our projection looks in motion. And it looks just right. Only the cars distort it. But that's because we haven't actually created it yet. So let's create it quickly in the first projection scene. I'll create a bottom plane using helper grid to generate position of the car. And I'm going to do that from two points to find position and also orientation. Select both position points, create a plane, and we got ourselves some properly oriented plane that covers the side of the car. I'll draw a rough mask now. No need to try to make it perfect. It's the whole point of Clean Edges Utility after all. It cleans up rough edges, only leaving parts that we need. Okay, so we have a plane covering the side of the car. Let's extrude it and get the whole car using Extrude. Select the mask, open Extrude, mark front and back, and create surface. There we go. And let's just reduce it a little more along Z. Okay, our model is ready, so we can delete helper objects now. And we have a rough model here, somewhat reminiscent of our car. It's okay. Clean edges will fix that for us very quickly. Okay, now let's see what the scene looks like in motion. The car isn't distorted anymore, but it seems like we have some artifacts left. So to remove those artifacts, we need to replace projection image 
in the first scene with a single image of a car. So I'm gonna replace it in projection image menu. And here I have an image that I've edited in Photoshop in advance. I separated the car from the background and saved the PNG of it with an alpha channel. So let's replace that. As you can see, only the car remains now. And instead of artifacts, we now have those white areas that we can now remove very easily with clean edges. Okay, no more white areas. But if you don't have Photoshop at hand, don't worry. You can get rid of those right in After Effects. Let's just Ctrl Z a few steps back. There. We have a rough model of the car. And I'll go to Projection Image Menu to edit Source. And just mask the car real quickly. There, and we got a clean car with alpha channel. Back to master scene, we see the same instance we saw before. So now we can just apply clean edges. And it's done. That's it. See, it took us only three minutes and the scene is ready. Isn't it great? Rough mesh is not a problem anymore. It's also a great solution for matte painting, BSD projects, where the final image already consists of separate objects with alpha channels, and you don't need to separate anything from the background. And let's check the scene in motion using camera. I think it looks good, but the car is also projected in the background, so let's fix that. We'll select second scene, and in projection image menu, we'll click edit. And now using clone stamp tool, We'll erase the car from the background. There. Let's go back to master scene. Let's add some keys to animate our camera, both on camera position and point of interest. We'll go to the end of the comp and create some movement there. Okay, let's pre-render and enjoy the result. That's it. Looking cool. No artifacts. Everything moves smoothly. Now let's repeat our experience using another image. Now take a look. We have a project here with three projection scenes. I matched the camera in advanced and created three projection scenes. First one for the foreground objects. Second one for the Colosseum. And the third one for the ground and the background. You guys already know how to create models of different objects, and if you don't know, you can go ahead and study it from our Modeling Tools tutorial. Now I just need to model the Coliseum, and we'll do it together right now. So here we have a bottom plane, but it is disabled so that nothing is projected on it, so we will only use it to generate the position of the Coliseum. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll add a cylinder primitive, open anchor point editor, mark reposition anchor point and move it to the bottom. And everything is in the right place. I'll scale the primitive, move it to the left a little bit, scale it a little more. I'll make a rough model, so it's okay that if it goes out of Coliseum. Uncheck scaling on all axes and reduce the primitive along Y. Done. 
we have a rough model now. Delete this. Now let's go to the main comp. Okay, now we have to clean up these unwanted areas. Let's do that. Select second scene with the Coliseum. Go to projection image menu and choose edit source. Then I'll mask this thing. And it's done. And there's wide areas on the edges as usual. Okay, now use clean edges. Great, now all those areas are gone and the building remains. So that's awesome. Let's move camera and check. Okay, that's it. As you can see, this is a very cool feature and it can save you a lot of time. No need to go all precise anymore. Just create a rough mesh, use clean edges, and be happy. So our tutorial ends here. Hope everything is clear, and now you know how to use clean edges.